Welcome. I'm Nina Couch, Head of Area Studies and Thompson Library Special Collections at The Ohio State University Libraries, and I'm really pleased to welcome you to today's event, which is part of the Area Studies Lecture Series. Beginning in 2019 as the Global Comics Lecture Series, scholars and artists have presented on global transnational issues from distinct area studies regional perspectives on topics including identity and culture, disability, political unrest, immigration, and more. I would like to acknowledge and thank Alicia Perkins, who is behind the scenes making this session possible. And now I would like to introduce Magda, Professor Magda El Sherbini, a Middle East Studies Librarian for the Ohio State University Libraries, who will introduce our speaker. Magda. Thank you very much, Nina, um, for, uh, for the tips about the Q&A. And uh, before we get to start, I would like to let you know that the facilitator of uh, this event will be Johanna Selman, uh, Assistant Professor of Arabic Literature in the Department of Near Eastern Language and Culture at The Ohio State University. Uh, now it's time to introduce our speaker, uh, Mr. Hani El Attar. Hani is the son of Anwar El Attar, the famous Syrian romance and nature poet of the past century. Hani was born in Damascus, studies there, and gained his BA in English literature from Damascus University. After leaving Syria in 1979, he worked in Saudi Arabia for 38 years. And now, Hani is living in Columbus, Ohio, where he is enjoying his retirement life. For the last 10 years, Hani has been working on his father's literary legacy and succeeded in published a two volume edition of his father's complete work. Today, Hani will discuss his father's life and work. So please join me in welcoming Hani Elatar. Hani? Uh, thank you, uh, Professor Magda, for introducing me and for inviting me, for uh, giving me this opportunity to talk about my father, the poet, Anwar Al-Attar. Anwar Al-Attar was one of the prominent poets in Syria and the Arab world. In the last century, he was born in the year 1913 and died in the year 1972 which means he lived only 59 years, which is, I believe, so little for a genius to live in our world. Though he left that early uh, and young in his age, but he did leave behind a big legacy and big literature and great poetry, very, uh, 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 handsome prose, uh, and I am. Uh, I, I we I, we will sail together. We will sail together through his uh, uh, poetic life and his uh, uh, success. Uh, Anwar Attar is the romance and nature poet as this slide uh, uh, showed him. Ask us In, such. Do you see me? Do you see the slides? Hello? No, we don't see it. Do you see me? Yes. Yes, okay. We saw the first slide, but 
but not. It says for some reason that. Okay, can you see it? Okay, yeah. yeah. Now, is it okay? Yes. Ah, uh, great. Okay. Anwar uh, Attar, as I said, will say his uh, together uh, through his uh, life journey, poetic journey, uh, make having some brief stops on some landmarks considering the time factor. Uh, this slide uh, shows him uh, in the year 1948. This slide shows me in his uh, uh, poetry saloon in the year 2011. That was in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia, where I had a very active uh, uh, get together with the uh, poets and uh, and the uh, prominent uh, people who love uh, poetry and 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 we will uh, go through this uh, overview uh, with starting with his early life his poetic journey his education and profession his fame and recognition the last poem he wrote was a very beautiful uh, uh, one, his death, the legacy, and the literary wealth left behind. In this picture, you can see him in his study home library in the year 1970, which means two years before his death. And I love to introduce this presentation with the following two verses of his, which he put them in the preface of his first vo uh, poetry collection, The Day's Shadows, Bilal Ayam. They are in English, interpretation, the angel of my death has forgotten to call upon me. That's because I'm still alive. So I took the chance to sing my song Although I know that my melody will have a short life, my inner guitar is mourning while trying to play my feelings, my tears, and my sorrows, trying to help me survive. غفلت عني المنون فغنيت ولحن الحياة لحن قصير وبنفسي إثارة تتشكى وأنا الدمع والأسى والشعور. This slides I insisted to have it only for one reason. I want to to to, to confirm uh, a big uh, fact here that Anwar Al Attar's romanticism is always in fluctuation in, in, in fluctuated with nature. In whatever poem he told, I mean, he composes on literature, you see the feeling of loves mixed together, which is so, I mean, beautiful, beautifully done and uh, nicely done. In this picture, you see one of the old palaces of Damascus. This is what was Damascus during his lifetime. He was enchanted with his city, Damascus. He was always deep. Damascus was always deep in his heart and clear in his poetry. See how beautiful. His early life. Anwar al-Attar was orphaned at a young age. And with that started all his pain. But what added to that pain, the eruption of the First World War, which came after one year of his birth, 1914. And along with that eruption, I mean, war, the 
prevalence of poverty, pain, and, and, and. So with all that, he did excel with his school, uh, uh, at his school. And he fall in love with reading books extensively, extensively, extensively. Uh, in here, his picture shows him wearing the Ottoman's vests. That was the Ottoman period in Syria. And he was only 10 years. See how elegant and how he mixes the European style of dress with, with the fez, the Ottoman fez. Looks handsome. The start of the poetic journey. His early talent was recognized. He was honored at the age of 14 by the Arabic Language Academy in Damascus, Syria. And from his pain sprouted geniusness. I still hearing him saying and repeating Anatole France's uh, uh, words, the Anatole France, the French intellectual, he used to say, Nothing makes us greater than a great pain. And he did prove it himself from his pain, spouse, geniusness. And he did follow the steps of the great poets from uh, Ahmad Shawki, the Prince of Poets of Egypt in the 50s, and uh, from the Abbasid era Al Buhturi, the master of. Uh, description, and many, many, many others of his teachers and, and the scholars of Damascus. He was highly influenced by the French Romantics, mainly Lamartine and Domossé, Alfred Domossé. He did trans translate some French Romantic poems into Arabic language. He was totally enchanted by his city, Damascus, and he composed so beautiful uh, poems on Damascus and its surrounding nature. And here we see him again, so elegantly, so young at the age of 14, Anwar al -Attar. His education and profession, he studied in Damascus schools, he gained his BA in Arabic literature from its university. And it was the fifth degree given from that, uh, from the uh, Arabic faculty, uh, Arabic language faculty, number five. It was newly uh, uh, active. He did memorize more than 10,000 prominent Arabic verses, old and new. And this is a statement by one of his closest friends and his uh, long life uh, friend, uh, the scholar, Ali Al-Tantawi. In, 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 I mean, there was a clear inclination to the French romantic, uh, rom romanticism. It was all the time mixed with whatever he composes. His extensive knowledge of national and international literature deepens his knowledge and give him real, real strength to build his geniusness. He was, of course, a successful teacher and a brilliant professor. He, he taught in neighboring countries of Iraq and Saudi Arabia. And here we see his picture in his 20s. This slide talks about the diversification of his uh, literary style. Though he is known uh, being the, a romantic poet, a lover for, of nature, but he did not confine himself to uh, that uh, area only. He did compose very beautiful poems on 
patriotism, nationalism, history, religion, praise, lament, with all, with all, all that was mixed with a light sophism of his and big philosophical uh, mix. His style, his fame, and his recognition. The style, as repeatedly I said, he is a romantic, uh, lover of nature. He's been, he's been uh, a good listener to nature. And from that good listening to nature, got the music of nature into the lyrics of his poetry. And I mean it, he did hear the, the birds uh, singing. He did hear uh, the, 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 the river's uh, uh, sounds, the wind sounds, the leaf, the, the, the trees' uh, leaves. He did hear all that and he did write about all that. No exaggeration. And all in epic uh, style. He, he, he likes that long, uh, 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 flow of his poetry, his fame. Anwal Attar taught and admired all over the Arab world. Some poems were translated to English and French, and his poetry's uh, poetry collection volumes uh, are acquired today in almost all Arab national libraries, universities, and main libraries in USA and Europe. He was also honored by people and governments. Uh, this picture shows him when he was a teacher in, teacher's house, in, in the teacher's house in Damascus uh, around 19 and, and, and in the 50s. His recognition. Yes, he was recognized by governments and he was received by uh, President Shukri al khuwatli of Syria, when he uh, gifted him his first volume, uh, The Day's Shadows, Dilal Ayyam, in the reception palace in Damascus. He did also uh, uh, meet uh, King Hussein of Jordan, uh, King Faisal of Saudi Arabia, President Jamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt, uh, and there are beautiful pictures of all uh, will follow to see. He was honored by having a school and a street named after him in Damascus. He was also honored in the year 1927 and when he was only 14 years old by Muhammad Kordali, the Syrian education minister for his early talent and brilliant knowledge and beautiful poetry. He was honored with the Iraqi honorary citizenship when he was teaching in Iraq in the 30s. His poetry is still studied and taught in the whole Arab world schools curriculums up to today. Many pursued Anwar al attars literature legacy, poetry, etc., as a topic for their higher education degrees of BAs, MAs, and PhDs. The following pictures will show you the presidents, uh, uh, the, the kings, the uh, princes, uh, the uh, uh, presidents, uh, and the poets with Anwar al attar this is President Jamal Abdel Nasser of Egypt in the year 1959 in Asr al-Qubba, in the Al-Qubba Palace. Uh, and this is him with uh, heading a delegation uh, to congratulate uh, Abdel Nasser for the United Arab Emirates. That was in 1959. Again, this is in Asr al-Qubba. He is holding a poem called, I mean, named Egypt, uh, 
very beautiful uh, poem. It is there in, in, in the complete works, uh, the poetry uh, volume. That was 1958. In here, he is with Asabah of Kuwait, 1959. And in here with King Hussein, when he received them, and when he, uh, 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 I mean, uh, put on his chest the Jordanian Star Medal. That was in the year 1954. In here, you see three uh, prominent Arab migra migrant poets uh, during their visits to Damascus in the 50s, starting from left to right, Lias Farhat, uh, Rashid Salim al Khouri, Shar al Qurawi, the uh, al Qurawi poet, and Mikhail Naimi, Michael Naimi. Uh, Mikhail Naimi was a close friend of Gibran, Khalid Gibran, when he was in New York, in, in, in America. In here, he is with his lifelong friend, Ali Atuntawi, the lawyer, the uh, scholar, the, uh, I mean, he is a versatile man. He is as genius as he is, as, uh, as Anwar Latar is, and they knew each other from the high school uh, times to the day Anwar Latar left this world. In here, I wanted just to show the book of. Arthur Arbery, where he uh, had uh, a translation of one of the poets he selected, uh, poems he selected from uh, uh, the first uh, poetry collection of Anwar al uh, This is uh, the immortal rebel of Damascus, Barada. Uh, this river is uh, uh, creating a very beautiful orchards all around Damascus. The verse goes like Barada heart's desire, whose thoughts are poetry. Thy life is melody, fragrant thy waves, suspice, etc. Beautiful short uh, poem, but it's really so beautiful. Barada al-Mujtaha yufakiru sha'ran wa huwa yahraya lahnan wa yinsabu itra. And here again, another book I wanted just to have it in this presentation, which is the Anthology de la Literature Arabe Contemporaine by uh, Edward Tarabai. Uh, he again picked up Barada uh, to translate to French, and the French uh, language goes like Le fleuve poète, Barada, le désir pense en poésie, il vit et c'est un chant, il coule, c'est un, c'est un arôme. Again, Barad al Mujtaha Yufakiru Sharan, Oho Yahya Lahnan, Oyen Sabu Atra. Is lyric poetry, of course, for a romantic man and for a, a nature lover, 100%. He, if he is a poet, he cannot avoid having his poetry composed except by singing it. And this is the Home Lyrics Collection volume, very beautiful one for anybody to dive and look for. I have selected for you uh, a few lyrics, uh, lyric poems. Uh, one is the tree, uh, the uh, 
and the valley and the, and the camel's walker and the enchanted city Damascus. For his city, he wrote and composed many poems as he was really in big fun of it. Also for a romantic poet, he cannot avoid not having a collection of, verse, of, of verses describing flowers. And he, he, and he did, he did. But what he did, he picked up many poets from the Abbasid era and took from each one two or three uh, verses describing one uh, kind of uh, a flower. That was so beautiful. And with the footnotes about those uh, poets. I mean, it's a very valuable book for anybody who loves nature and who loves flowers. Now we come to his death, his last poem and his legacy. As we mentioned, he born in, in, in the year 1913, died in the year uh, exactly. I mean, I can give the time I was with him. It was nine, almost 30 uh, morning uh, on Sunday, the 23rd of July, 1972. He died in one of the of Damascus hospitals. Yeah. He lived a life filled with success and fame. His last po poem was, our days took excuse to leave. It's a quartet style, very beautiful, 12 quartets rotating and alternating from talking to his family and beloved ones to his city, to people and friends, to his Lord, the Almighty, to the death and afterlife. Very beautiful quartets, amazing, amazing, full with his philosophical knowledge, encyclopedic knowledge, and musical, the very, very beautiful vocabulary and real, real, real poetry. His first poetry collection volume, as we said, The Day's Shadows, the Raleigh, was published in the 1948 and republished in the year 2013. The last poetry collection of his of, uh, was Anwar Attar's uh, Quartet. Life Taught Me. It was published in the year 2015. And the complete works for, for both, prose and uh, for uh, poetry and prose, Lamal Kamil Sharwa Nasser, were published in the year 2020. And here we see him in his study room and his home library. This is a repeated picture. I wanted again to reach to the end of this presentation with it. I love it. And here now, you have some verses which I really uh, loved to be included as an introduction to the complete works. The, it, is, it was taken from uh, the uh, uh, complete works of poetry, uh, the English, come to me, my love, and let's write our psalms Psalms to be our gift to anyone who loves to sing. Let's play our song for the plains, for the plateaus, and for the hills. Let's fly, let's sway, let's do, do it our way. Let's sow the space and go to the under undiscovered place. أناشيدة يملكها من روعة تعالى نغني سهولة الفساحة ونصب الهضابة ونغري الربا تعالى نهم هيمان العطور ونحفز مثل شعاع الضحى 
الاعلى نطور رحاب الفضاء ونسري الى غامض منتهى It's an epic. 95 verses. So beautiful. From A to Z in everything. It was first time uh, published uh, uh, and, uh, in the year 1938 in uh, Arisala magazine of Egypt, uh, which was uh, uh, managed by uh, one of the prominent uh, literary figures in, in Egypt. The complete works in here, Pro, uh, Poetry and Prose, published 2020. Uh, both put beautifully in one case. 10 poetry collection volumes, almost 10,000 pages, and 13 prose studies, six poetic related and seven prosic related. And now we'll talk about his first uh, poetry collection volume, uh, The Day's Shadows, Dilal Ayyam. And I wanted to introduce this uh, with, with one uh, poem which is highly commended by many, 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 many uh, literary figures. Uh, this is for autumn, it's an autumn's poem. And those uh, four verses, they were always and still in the curriculum, uh, curriculums of uh, the school today in the Arab world. The English, the field went silent and the nest became ruins. After the birds have flown away, the joyful forest is depressed and the cheerful grass land is sad. Nobody is there to play. The clouds are gathered in piles so we can't see the blue sky. The river is still running, but no longer knows why. The birds are in deep sleep and the butterflies forgot how to fly. Very beautiful. The Arabic. Hamad al-Haqlu falayshashu kharabun hajaratha ala al-layali al-tuyuru fa'ala dahik al-muruj iktiabun wa ala basim al-digali futuru وإذا الغيم في الفضاء ركام وإذا النهر مغدر محرور والعصافير نوام ليس تصحو والفراشات جثم لا تطير أنوار العطار This is the collection first published 1948 republished 2013 uh, multi poetic styles and subjects, love of nature is everywhere. The melancholy mixed with romanticism is existing almost in every page. The epic style is prominent and apparent. Uh, his influence of, uh, of the French romantics is clear. Al-Buhturi uh, uh, of al Abbasid period as well. Ahmad Shawqi, the Prince of Poetry, and several others of his teachers. In here, you see him in the mid of his 20s. Very beautiful, with his usual elegant style. Yeah. Anwar Lata's Quartet. This is the last work of his. Life taught me. It's a quartet, very beautiful quartet of 175 quartets. I mean, almost touching every aspect in life. Deeply, deeply. English, life taught me that poetry is the ex expressive 
tongue of my inner monologues. It dem demonstrates my obsession and interprets my way of thinking and how I predict. When I am complaining, it's the exit gate for my moans. And when I am having some fun, it's the key for me, for my flat play for a room. I never try to hide myself from it. It's the whispering secret of my soul. This is named poetry is the interpreter. Ashiru Turjuman. Alamatni al Hayatu Anaminashari Lisanan Yai Ahaditha Nafsi. Mufsihon an Hawajisi Turjumanon Sadikon Pi Adai Dhani Wahatsi. In Tashakaitu Kana Baba Shakati Aw Tasalaitu Kana Miftaha Unsi Lam Uhawil Ikfa Nafsiano Fahwa Sirri Ladi Asunu. I love it. This is the book, the last, published in 2015, uh, containing 175 poetic portraits, uh, following the steps of the Persian, the famous Persian poet Omar al Khayyam uh, and his quartet style. And it was a reflection of the poet encyclopedic knowledge, as I said, and his deep understanding of life and the human experience, mixed with his philosophical insight and light sophism. Yeah. In here, I'm reaching to end. I cannot avoid to mention the immortality the immortality in what sense of what man can leave behind him? Our bodies go in, in, to ashes. Known fact, our souls go to immortality. But along with our soul, go, which goes to immortality, is what we leave behind. What we leave behind especially when it is beautiful and good. And this is what those uh, four verses talk about. The immortals are the beauty of our earth. Some with their wonderful minds illuminate our knowledge and faith. Others with their brave hearts preserve our heart beats and breath. They never mind the struggle they never fear the death. The day they leave is the date of their rebirth. Al Khariduna, Jamal al Abdi Matabahu. Wal Khariduna, Sana al Abadi Mahamadu. Fil Abkariati, Ahkabun lahum Koshobun. Wafil Botulati, Abadun lahum Jududu. Ashu Jamal al Duna, Hatta Ida Nazalat. بهم مناياهم بين الورى خلدوا كأنما يبدأون العمر ثانية فإنهم لفظوا أنفاسهم ولدوا أنور العطار and what is following is a video with the back uh, uh, music and my voice الخالدون إن الموت نهاية وإنه بداية وإنه للعبقري حياة وخلود الخالدون جمال الأرض ما طلعوا والخالدون سنى الآباد ما همدوا في العبقرية أحقاب لهم خشب وفي البطولة آباد لهم جدد عاشوا جمال الدنا حتى إذا نزلت بهم مناياهم بين الورى خلدوا 
كأنما يبدأون العمر ثانية فإنهم لفظوا أنفاسهم ولدوا أنور العطار Yes, and in here now, uh, something I really feel proud of and very much, the donation part of, the, of this uh, presentation, uh, Anwar Al-Attar's books donated to the Ohio State University and Thompson Library, those books which we were talking about. Yeah, and thank you. Ohio State University and Thompson Library. So very, very much. And the best to end with, and allow me, is the following verse, verses which uh, are four verses, which are really so beautiful. They, they give an idea of how self-confident Anwar Attar was, and how was proud of his knowledge and of his poetry. Listen to him. My songs are derived from the roar of the lions and my melodies are derived from the sound of winds. I am the desert that cannot care less about the misery. I am a world full of glamour. I am a universe full of musical echoes. I decided not to be a deci di disciple, but rather to step ahead and let the glory follow my steps. Ana mizarati al-usudi, ana shidi, wa min jarati al-riyahi ghinai. Ana هذه الصحراء من عزمها الثبت ومن هزئها من البأساء أنا دنيا من البشاشة والبشر وكون يضج بالأصداء لست أختار أن أكون تبيعا أنا أخطو والمجد يخطو ورائي لسهم أنور العطار يا yeah. تنتاك مي فور أني كويستشن أت alatar.m.hani at gmail.com. Thank you wholeheartedly. Shukran min kulli qalbi. Thank you so much. I don't know if, um, can you hear me? Yeah, Magda, I did hear you. How I can see you. This is, uh, yes, this is Johanna. Hi, uh, Johanna, how are you doing? I hope you like it. Oh, I loved it. So thank you so much. Did you? Did I, you, honestly? Honestly, I really liked it. And I, I was struck just by how remarkable your father's life and work was. Um, really the variety of, um, you know, poetry that he drew on his, you know, these amazing, um, you know, historical scenes that you showed us with Abdel Nasser and these, and all these different poets. Um, and I also wanted to thank you for your absolutely beautiful readings of your father's poetry. I think, you know, every time you read, I think people were writing into chat, you know, how beautiful. Um, so I really want to thank you for that. I want to also remind the audience um, that is on that you can post, people are already beginning to post questions in chat. Um, so I'm going to start asking you some questions, but people please um, continue to, um, to um, add your questions, not to, sorry, not to the chat, but to the Q&A box. Um, so a few people are actually asking, um, did your father, did Anwar al attar have a favorite poem that he, um, that he wrote? And also, do you have a favorite poem of your father's? So did he himself have a, have a favorite poem? And you- uh, as... well, I have many, to be honest. And uh, I did tell uh, Professor Magda 
when I started working on this and I was given only 45 minutes, I got really puzzled and confused. How I can go to an ocean of knowledge and pick up from that uh, something to fit 45 minutes. Let me be honest and very honest. And I, I, I believe I, I, I can talk for 45 days about Anwar Atbar. No exaggeration. I'm, I'm honest, I'm honest, I'm honest. And I hope tomorrow when I see you and hopefully soon, uh, and when you see his complete works and the first and last uh, uh, poetry collections, you realize how, 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 uh, how I mean, uh, 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 how, how big uh, this knowledge is, how beautiful is, how, how, how. So uh, I cannot, I mean, I have a lot of poems. One of them is al, 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 the, the autumn poem. Mm -hmm. uh, it's one uh, commended by many, many poets, many, many poets. And uh, Uh, his favorite, to be honest, I really don't know, but let me tell you a fact. I mean, I still remember him because when he died, I was only 22 years. Uh, so I did leave uh, the times when I can recognize uh, him so much. Uh, he was a man when he is at home, he never stops uh, 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 using his low voice with his lips. It was for me later on, I realized that he was either memorizing something or repeating something for himself or for the others or composing. Mm -hmm. And all, I mean, his home study room was full with books on all three walls and the wall which was uh, connected with a balcony is open. I mean, the whole wall is open with a big, big, big door and long one to see Damascus, his city. And we used to live on a mountain on, 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 on the hill, uh, uh, on, on, on mountain uh, Pasyun, the mountain of Damascus. So he can see all his city from that balcony which was again, full with plantation and flowers, uh, the, the, the Damascene people's style. So uh, uh, all those rooms uh, are full with books. Uh, beside him at the uh, light stand, uh, you always find one or two books and his library uh, has been, and this is mentioned uh, in, uh, in the complete works, uh, we 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 uh, donated it to uh, Al Zahiriya uh, Library in Damascus. It's uh, it's a one thousand years uh, library, one thousand year, uh, year year library, because we were afraid that it may be during the war times, uh, maybe uh, bombed or stolen or or or. And luckily we did do that, uh, especially, uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, I have only one of my uh, sisters now in, in Syria, but the whole family is outside Syria, unfortunately. So uh, we, left, uh, we left it to be taken care of by the library and we left it at their custody. Yeah. Do you know um, what your father's favorite poem was of the poems that he wrote? Uh, I cannot, uh, at, at this moment of time, I cannot, I cannot, I cannot, yeah. I cannot, no. Um, I, well, Many we are there, as I said, and I, I, I went extensively in my answer, I'm sorry. Oh, thank you so, and I also forgot to mention, um, thank you so much for the donation to the OSU libraries. Um, it's really wonderful to know that you're- My honor, I'm honored. I'm honored. Uh, I'm honored, I'm honored, I'm honored. We, yeah. have a, we have a special greeting here in the Q&A from your friend, Haitham Asaman, who says, thank you for this magnificent presentation. Now you perfected the life story of Anwar al -Attar. God bless his soul. I'm proud of you from Haitham Asaman. Mm -hmm. uh, we also have a question that's um, a little bit more um, 
linked to politics. We have a question about uh, what your father's relationship was uh, with the Syrian regime after Hafez al-Assad became president. Um, but so that was at the very end of your father's life. Um, what um, if there was, you know, I know he had a lot of contact with different political leaders. And you know, so the question is, what was um, his relationship to Hafez al-Assad at the end of his okay. life? See, I mean, uh, uh, Anwar al-Attar, who, because of his love to his uh, poetry, because, uh, because of his love to, uh, to be kept uh, uh, far from politics, he did not participate in any political activities in his whole life. And this is a fact. It's a fact, it's a fact. And he did mention that in his own words, in his biography, mm -hmm. autobiography. So uh, even with, 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 with the, pres the, the recent uh, regime, he was, he was very neutral. I mean, he didn't, uh, they didn't hurt him. He didn't uh, uh, hurt them. Uh, why? Because he wanted just to live a calm life away from everybody. And he wants only to live with his poetry. This is, this is something very much true. He wanted only to live with his uh, poetry. And his poetry was his uh, kingdom, which he used to, to enjoy and live in. That's my question. Thank you so much. Um, we have a question here about um, advice for growing poets or advice for young or up or people who are just starting to write poetry. Do you have any advice for, you know, people who are aspiring to write poetry to become poets? Follow, follow your heart. It leads you to poetry. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. Poetry is how to love man on earth. Poetry for me is how to live peacefully with others. Poetry for me and for my father, by the way. And this is again a known fact. He's very, very uh, loving person. He has only love in his heart. Even I will read you a very beautiful part from his uh, life taught me. Uh, very, very beautiful. I mean, I, I, I doubt the time permits now, but I will read it for you that when he tries, it is stated in his poetry, when he tries to hate, he loves to that extent. When he tries to hate, he loves. He cannot carry on hating. No, he carry on loving. This is him and this is me. I cannot hate people. I love people. See, if we truly love each other, believe me, believe me, believe me, we will have no wars. We will build this little planet of ours. We don't ruin it. If we really love each other, my answer. Thank you so much for this for this answer. Um, we have a question here about um, saying, what if his work was used to teach classical Arabic in the United States and other countries outside of the Arabic speaking world? Do you, um, if you imagine- I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I didn't catch the first uh, few words. Can you uh, so, come again? Yes, so the question is, what if your father's work was used to teach Arabic in the United States and in other countries outside of the Arabic speaking world? Do you have thoughts on that? Are there specific poems that you think would be um, particularly good for teaching students of Arabic who are learning the beauty of Arabic poetry, learning the language? Do you have any um, thoughts on that or recommendations for particular poems that you think would be suitable for you know, teach, teaching Arabic? Yeah, uh, let me, uh, uh, Johanna, I didn't get you properly, to be honest. Your voice is a bit faint. Okay, but, well, but the I, question, I, I mean, the answer, the answer, if this is something addressed to me, myself, I love to go 
and lecture on Anwar al -Atta the way I did now, mm -hmm. but extensively. Let me tell you some more uh, important uh, piece of uh, information. I mean, this collection of 10 uh, vol uh, uh, poetry volumes, uh, which is 1,000 pages, I worked on something I believe you will appreciate being so uh, 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 indulged in Arabic uh, teaching. Johanna, I got studies for poems of love uh, and poems of uh, 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 the mother, mm. poems uh, for rivers, mm. uh, poems for etc. etc. So I I picked up those uh, uh, poems. And I wrote a study on them to be able to have them printed and published uh, uh, because that will be easier for the reader or if anybody wants to study uh, the legacy of Anwar Attar to go through rather than opening a, 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 a big, big volume uh, to read uh, uh, 10, 10, 10, I mean, uh, uh, one, uh, uh, thousand and uh, page, I mean, uh, pages. Mm. You, you got me? Yes. And actually, somebody is commenting here in the chat that maybe there's an opportunity for the Undergraduate Library Research Fellowship. We have a special fellowship for undergraduate student researchers, that this would maybe be a really interesting project for yeah, a student. Yeah, most welcome. Yeah, well, let me tell you, let me tell you something. When I had published uh, his first uh, poetry collection in the year 2013. Immediately, one student had her master degree. The subject was Anwar Atma, and I have it here. I'll show it to you, uh, uh, hopefully soon. Uh, big, big study, and she, she got excellent uh, uh, mark on it that was in one uh, university in Saudi Arabia mm -hmm. and he, there's also more than PhDs in Egypt mm -hmm. and uh, uh, many others we don't know we don't know uh, but those are what uh, we know about we were late having his uh, uh, masterpieces printed and published uh, for many reasons. Uh, I struggled for the last 15 years to have them done. During the war time, I couldn't be, a, I was not able to visit Syria and go to my uh, dad's uh, place and uh, take my, my, uh, those masterpieces. Moreover, some of them were lost. No exaggeration, because we moved them from one place to another place. So I believe one one box was lost, and I did mention that in in the in 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 one um, in the uh, introduction of uh, the complete works that we lost those uh, 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 books, unfortunately. Yeah. Yeah, that's. Uh, I'm so sorry to hear that. Um, yeah, I mean, I'm I'm I'm, <laughs> I'm so sorry. I mean, I was really, I was so sad. I tried hard even to delay the printing and publishing the complete works, looking for them. I could not, I could not. I mean, see, it was all real war in Syria then. Mm -hmm. A few of us wants to, want to know, how did your father influence you? How did Anwar al-Attar um, influence Hany al-Attar? He I gave mean, me his blood. Yeah. Johanna, what a, what a question is that? He gave me his blood injected in my body. <laughs> I'm, I'm a, a small poet. I'm a small Anwar Attar. This is the answer. Tell him, this is my answer. I'm a, he injected his blood in me. Mm -hmm. I feel my blood, my flesh, my, my bones are Anwar Attar. Yes, I love him. Not because he's a great poet, because he's... He's a great dad for me. He's a great father. He was. He was a great father. He was, he was full of morals, 
He was full of knowledge. He was full of everything. I, 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 I won't be able to stop talking about him and how he brought us mm. up, his children. We, we have eight. He uh, had eight children. You cannot believe it. Listen to this. The day he got married, uh, his grandmother, so uh, his mother-in-law, his wife's uh, uh, mother, which is a tradition uh, in Syria, she, she comes and visits her daughter. And they used to have breakfast. And even the breakfast together is a special menu. It's not any breakfast. Mm -hmm. it's, it's a special menu. When the table was set, and it was set in a very beautiful uh, Damascene house, the fountain is, uh, uh, the water is roaring and the uh, trees are, uh, uh, I mean, it's a very romantic place. <laughs> it is, it is. So the, the table, the small table was set for three. When he sat on his chair, he started calling our names, one after the other, seven mm -hmm. of them. And the last uh, was late to come and named by my mother. Mm. But he called all our names, seven of us. So his mother-in-law told him, what are you calling uh, those uh, for, for Anwar? What, who are they? Anybody is in this house with us? She, he said, yes, my, my, my sons and my daughters. Wow. They are coming and they, we, really, we really came. So this is, this is him. I mean, let me tell you something. I, I cannot stop talking about him. And I, as I told you, 45 minutes for me to introduce Anwar Atar are not enough. Uh, uh, and uh, Professor Magda knows that. Uh, and I told him I need, I told her I need 45 days at least to talk about my father and his legacy. He's a great man. Do you have, do you have one story? That you want to share from growing up with your father? I, you know, you said he memorized ten thousand verses of poetry. Was this something that was very, you know? Did you hear a lot of? Yeah, poetry? listen to this. Yes, of course, of course. It's a quoted. It's a quoted. From, his, uh, life taught me, uh, volume, uh, collection. Let me, uh, remember the first. Listen to this. This is, he is addressing his uh, country, or his, his country. Uh, this quoted, by the way, Alamatni al Hayat, each, each start with each first verse starts with life taught me. Mm. For all the 175. Uh, portraits. It's either life taught me or taught me, but mostly life taught me. So in Arabic, you understand Arabic, uh, Johanna? Yes. Do you allow me to write the Arabic because I don't have the interpretation? Yes. If you allow me to read Arabic, mm -hmm. I'll go with the verse and explain. Yes. Do you and want to, help me you to want interpret to... for others who do not understand the language? Yes. And in one of those uh, verses is the love hate uh, area we touched. It is amazing. Listen to this. Let me have some water. علمتني الحياة أن حياتي ملك أرضي عزت على الدهر أرضي من ينابيعها تلقيت الشدوي من شحاريرها تعلمت قرضي فجرتني هوا فجرتني هوا فبغضي حب يا لحب ما إن يلم ببغضي هي نجوايا إن جنحت 
لصحو والخيالات ان جنحت لغمضي This is it. Mm. Where hate is not existing. Mm. Do you understand? Yeah, I don't think I can give the every part of the poem, but it's you know very very beautiful life life lesson. The depth is is so beautiful. Yeah, and the first. The, and the, yeah. go ahead. I mean, each verse of this court court uh, quartet is really so beautiful, mm. so beautiful, so beautiful. And I love to keep lecturing about Anwar Atbar the rest of my life and writing books on him. Yes, and we have a question here also, if you write poetry, I mean, you, you recite your father's poetry so beautiful, beautifully and with such- I love both, oh, um, I mean, what, what a question. You, um, of but course you, I do. Yes, of course, you. Johanna, of course I do, of course yes. I do, I respect it. I love poetry, old and new. Mm -hmm. Not only my, my father's poetry, of course. My, father, uh, my father's poetry taught me to love mm -hmm. other poetry. Do you, yes. write, do you write your own poetry or do you mostly focus on you know, writing about poetry and getting information and getting your father's poetry out in the world? Or do you write, do you write your own poems? My own poem? I mean, oh yeah. yeah. This is difficult to, to answer. I'm, I'm, uh, I, I am a good uh, uh, writer. Mm -hmm. I write good uh, prose, but I, I am not in poetry. I love poetry so much, so much, so much, and appreciate and understand. I, I can also value, but uh, I haven't tried to write poetry, no. But some of my prose is like poetic prose. Mm -hmm. My writing is good. I mean, my Arabic is good. Though I am, I studied my academy. I'm an academic uh, man, uh, uh, and I studied English literature from Chaucer to Shakespeare. Uh, but I didn't ignore studying the Arabic literature, old and new. But to compose poetry, no, I, I have not. Uh, I have not tried, uh, maybe, maybe uh, in the future, but I doubt. I enjoy writing much more, but I appreciate and love. And when uh, a good poetry, uh, I listen, uh, believe me, Johanna, I dance with it, not only read it. Honestly, uh, honestly, honestly, I dance with it. I stand on my legs, on my, uh, feet and dance because some words make you dance. Some words, some words, some meanings makes you really, really some meaning uh, makes you dance. And this is what is uh, the power of, 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 of the word. The power of, of the word is, is not, uh, I, mean, I mean, see what Shakespeare did. I appreciate Summer's Moon. I appreciate a lot of American poets. Uh, I mean, see what they did. I mean, poets wrote the history of the Greeks. Homeros is a poet. Yes, Homeros is a poet and many others. So uh, I love poetry, I'm not. I'm, I'm, uh, maybe I am a small poet, not, not, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to be a small poet, but I, I'm not, uh, I don't dare to have my uh, poetry published. I mean, I didn't try it. Yeah. Beautiful. Thank you so much. Uh, we have time for a final question, I think, if somebody wants to add a question. Otherwise, I have, I surely have many questions to, um, as well. Go ahead. Yes, so I'm curious about this, um, the role of patriotism or al butula or a kind of sense of heroism in, um, in your father's poetry, because we mostly heard about the, you know, the nature of poetry, this very romantic and, you know, connecting to, you know, very wise, deep life lessons. Uh, so good, good, uh, good, good, good question. Uh, many, many are there, many others uh, talking about patriotism. Uh, mm -hmm. as a subject, 
uh, nothing at this moment. Uh, I mean, I can give names, which is not enough. But if the uh, if uh, if I can uh, get the email of the, uh, the, the whoever uh, asked this question, I can definitely give him the the the, the poems uh, and even send the text of the poems for him. Thank you so much. And um, Alicia here is sharing um, Hani al Attar's email again in chat. So I'd recommend to anybody who's interested in being in contact with, um, with Hani to take down the email. We have a lot of thank yous in the chat. People are thank you, thanking you for your wonderful talk and um, you know, expressing how much they, they learned about your father and about your, you know, your approach to your father's work. Um, so thank you so much for being here with us today. Thank you so much for your donations to, to the library. I, I think Magda has some, um, some sponsors to thank as well. Some people, some departments and um, groups at the university who made this talk possible. Uh, Johanna, I'm honored with this opportunity, to be honest, and I would consider it a start for, the, for, for a long uh, road to, to go. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm honored uh, and I appreciate very much the opportunity. I thank so much uh, Professor Magda uh, for giving me this uh, 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 opportunity to talk about my father on, on, on this platform, uh, which uh, I, I received now some calls from Australia. Uh, mm. No exaggeration. I mean, uh, this is the ex uh, exposure which I was looking for uh, to introduce my father to the international uh, arena. Uh, why? Because he de deserves, his legacy deserves to be, to go international. Yes. And uh, I, I love uh, what he left for us. I enjoy it. I read it all, 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 I mean, I read, I read it every day. I have his books in every room in my place here. Uh, and I love him. So everybody, please join me in thanking Hany al Attar for this wonderful talk and for being here with us today. And, you know, looking forward to more collaboration with you in the future. Thank you so much. Same here. Thank you very much, Johanna. Appreciate it. Say thank you for everybody from your end, uh, especially uh, Professor Magda, and uh, we'll keep in touch, hopefully. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Well, I would like just to say a few words about our uh, sponsor, to thank all of my sponsors, and um, specifically uh, the, the, the University Library International and Area Study Department, the Department of Near Eastern Language and Culture, and the Middle East Center. Thank you very much for sponsoring this event. I really appreciate your, your work. Thank you, Johanna, for facilitating the discussion. Wonderful.